cheveux noirs. Uh, my name is Sarah. Thank you for your question about why do most black people have black hair. Such a good question because my dad is black and my mom is white. And so I thought, yeah, well, what happens to me then? So did you know that black hair is the darkest and most common of all hair colors in the whole world? So that's in your country of Germany, in my country of Canada, and even where I live now in Australia, it's the most common color for everyone. And that's in all backgrounds and all people from different ethnicities. And it's because it has a large amount of eumelanin in it. And melanin is in our skin, it creates color, and it also creates color in our hair. Black hair is the most common color in Asian culture and African. So you are right to ask this question. But I thought another interesting one was that not only is African hair black, but it can also be wiry and sometimes coarse. And my dad grew up with an indigenous mom and a black dad, and he had straight hair until he was 14, even though his brothers and sisters had curly hair. And when he went through puberty at 14, it went curly. So isn't it interesting, the genetics that go on in our hair? So I thought I would just say one more interesting thing about hair color. So I've got black dad with this straight hair that went curly, and then I've got my mom who's white from Canada, and now my hair is brown in between straight and curly, and now it's starting to go gray. So imagine that, maybe that'll be your next question. Why does the hair go gray? Okay, are boys stronger than girls? Ooh, another good question because I grew up trying to prove that girls were as strong as boys. But the question is, did I really need to prove that? So did you know that girls actually start their development earlier than most boys. So they actually are stronger than boys in the beginning. But by about age 17, puberty, when puberty is there and complete, men have something inside of them, a higher level of testosterone. It's like a chemical in their body. And this generally allows them to grow and strengthen their muscles. And so women have, or girls, sorry, have to do that a little bit more. They have to engage in physical activity to become stronger. So this is a big belief out there, but when you actually look at it a little bit more, it's not that boys are stronger, but that they have larger fibers in their muscles. So it's almost like, I, I look at fibers like little tubes. And so girls, the tubes in their muscles are a little bit smaller and boys, it's a little bit larger. So this in the upper part of a boy tends to be a little bit bigger and stronger, but it's more about, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are stronger. It's just a little bit bigger. And so their lean tissue is distributed in the upper body. So your question makes a lot of sense because sometimes we think, oh wow, boys look like they're stronger. Looks like and are stronger are not the same thing. So really good question. But in my view and the world that I'm in as a sports person, I've seen very strong girls and very strong boys. question about why are we the only black people in the neighborhood it kind of stumped me Joshua because I had to think a little bit about where you're from and because I live in Australia and you live in Germany I had a look there are so many people in your country of Germany so many more than in Australia so many more than in Canada where I'm from 83 million people are in Germany, oh my gosh. And only one million of those people are African or Afro-Germans. So you can really see that if there's 83 million total people and one million Afro-Germans, it is likely that there are many people that are the only black people in their neighborhood. And I wanted to share a little story about my dad again because he grew up in a very small black neighborhood in Canada where his family, he had 15 brothers and sisters. So lots of family and then lots of friends. They were a black neighborhood. But here's the thing, they live next to a golf course 
And so the kids, as a kid, all the brothers and sisters wanted to play on the golf course, but they weren't allowed. No black people were allowed on this golf course in the 60s. But my dad was the very first person allowed to become a member of that golf course. And I wanted to share that story with you because even though you might be the only black person, it doesn't mean that you can't do something really special to influence and make a difference to all those other people from that might look a little bit different than you. So my dad, when he was a teenager, when he was young, he became the first ever member of that course. And then he made up this tournament called the Black Invitational Golf Tournament. And to this day, almost 60, yeah, almost like for 60 years, they've had that golf tournament. And black people from the United States and Canada, everybody comes to that golf tournament every August because my dad was brave enough to be the very first person with black skin on that golf course and had the courage to organize a tournament. So I look forward, Joshua, to seeing what you do in your neighborhood.